Hey guys, welcome to the video. I figured since I did the Sephora Playbox unboxing, I would do a little follow-up video to give you guys my feedback, what I thought about the products. So before we get into that, I'd like to welcome you to the channel if this is your first time. Please do subscribe, I'd love to have you. Leave a comment with your thoughts on these products if you got them, if you bought them on your own, maybe if you got them in your play box. Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads and do like the video because it gives me some feedback on to what you guys are into. So we'll get into it. So this is the play box from July 2018 and first product I have. I do have some notes. It's the Alginist Genius Liquid Collagen. I believe it's a serum. So I felt like I did go through this pretty quickly, even though I didn't want to, because you can use it morning and night. And when I did test the products, I would use one at a time with my regular skincare just to see if, you know, not to like put all of them together to knock out any variables, just to see how well this product did uh, work with my skin. So my skin did feel smoother. It did feel more toned, felt more like elastic I suppose would be a good way to describe it. It didn't get weird under makeup like my foundation didn't ball up over it which was really nice because I have had that happen with some stuff especially primers. Some serums and moisturizers primers just really don't like and they'll just get super weird and maybe you don't notice it with the primer but then with the foundation and then you have to start all over so that's really annoying. Um, it did absorb very quickly, which was nice because I always wait for serums kind of, this has to be a serum, serum type stuff to absorb completely before I would put a moisturizer or a sleeping pack on if I'm going to bed, just because it kind of seems silly to put it on, not let it seep in and then quickly mush some more stuff over it. If you know what I mean? Um, the price point is the thing that kills me about this. Is a little too rich for my blood. It is $115. I would love to have that kind of money to spend on this product because I really did like it, but I just, I can't afford it at this point in my life with bills, with student loans. It's just, it's, it's not going to happen, but I do appreciate the little taste I got. It was very, very good. Someday, someday, Alginist. Someday. Moving on. <laughs> This is the Coors Wild Rose with Sea Brightening Oil. And let me just start out by saying this smells so good. I love the way rose smells. And it wasn't like an overpowering rose. And a little does go a long way, which is nice. So you can use this on its own or you could mix it in with foundation. I tried it both ways just to see if it is a super versatile product. It is uh, $54. So if I can use this in two different ways, that does make it worth it to me. And I really, really like this. I think I would like to splurge on it at some point. Maybe not right now, but at some point. I really did enjoy this. Um, my skin did look brighter, and I know that's due to the vitamin C, which I'm totally into that. Um, it was just amazing. And I do, ha like I've said, I do have oily skin, and this didn't make me look like a complete oil slick which I was a little nervous about. It blended really well with my foundation, under my foundation, just, you know, before I would go to sleep under moisturizer. It was great and I loved it and I do recommend it to anyone that's looking for, you know, a brightening serum oil type thing. Very, very good. The third one is the Biosance uh, Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. I loved this so much. Again, have oily skin. Gel moisturizer is like the perfect formula for it. It did absorb very quickly. It was really great under makeup. Didn't get weird pilling. Didn't have like weird splotchiness. Um, my skin didn't feel overly greasy, nor when it absorbed did it feel overly dry, as sometimes I feel like moisturizers geared towards people with oily skin can. It just felt like my skin, but better not rough, not, you know, slippery, just nice and smooth. And I felt like I could really tell a difference in my under eye area after using this. It was amazing. Um, I'm very sad that I didn't get a whole lot out of this 
because I love it and I really, really do want to buy it. It is uh, $52 for 1.6 ounces. When my student loans are gone, I am going to buy like pallets of this because I did love it that much. I felt even in the short time that I used it, I could feel a difference in my skin. And I felt like I didn't, you know, get as oily sometimes with my normal moisturizer. I feel like I get really, really oily. And with this, it just kind of balanced me out and it wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was just right. So uh, in the future, you will be mine. Very excited about that. The third thing is the Briagio Roscaro Blow Dry Protectant and Heat Protectant Creme. The first thing I noticed about this, so I only blow dried my hair with this. I have pretty dry hair, which it shouldn't be that dry because you don't really do that much to it. Um, it is on the finer side. It does have a lot of texture. I only blow dried it. I didn't flat iron it and it was really, really soft, really sleek, but it didn't feel like really heavy, which was nice. The groom immediately was like, oh, I like the way your hair smells. I'm like, oh, I'm wearing a different perfume. Maybe that's it. And he smelled my hair. He's like, no, that that's that's your hair. I really like that. So I was like, dang it. I don't want to have to buy this because I don't think I can get this at the professional hair places that I shop. But I don't know if maybe I used too much because by the second day when I woke up, I looked like a greasy mess, which was probably my fault. The, the problem with samples when they come in this it says to use a quarter size, I believe, or two quarter size, depending on your hair length and thickness. It's very hard to get an exact amount when you're squeezing it out of a packet. So sometimes you just go a little too ham and put the whole thing on your hair and then you wake up the next day very greasy. But it was a really good product. It's uh, $24 for four ounces. I did like it, but I'm not in like with it. I've used a lot of hair products, especially ones for heat protectant that I've really liked that I could get a lot cheaper. But I mean, I wouldn't mind using it again. I'd really like to try some of their other shampoos, conditioners, masks, other products. I, I think I do really like this line. I like the way it smelled. I like the way my hair felt. So I would definitely give it another shot. The next one is the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick Rainforest of the Sea Collection in Salt Life. And maybe as you can tell, I really like this a whole lot. It is a mauve gray. It's a beautiful nude. I'm actually wearing it right now. I feel like that's kind of my type is like a, a mauve -y nude. I, I love that color palette. I feel like it isn't too much. I've worn it a lot to work at the doctor's office and it's really moisturizing. It wears really, really well, which is surprising for like the lipstick formula because I'm so used to liquid lipstick formulas where you kind of just put it on and forget about it. But this was very, very comfortable. I didn't have like any feathering around my mouth, which was very nice. Um, I can't say enough good things about this formula. I really, really like this. I really want to try other colors. Definitely, I want to get this in a full size. Um, this is $21. I would, you know, totally buy this again. It's so nice. It feels so good. It doesn't have a weird smell. It doesn't have a weird taste. I love the color. I just, I love it so much. Very, very good pick for me in this box. And then our final one is the Tarte Amazonian 12 hour blush, Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in Pade with like four A's in it. This is really pretty. It's a very wearable nude pink, maybe a peachy undertone to it. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera, but I felt like the color's gorgeous. It blended really well and it lasts really long. It does, you know, live up to its name 12 hour. Although like I don't wear makeup for 12 hours typically, but very, very good. I do have this in, I think it's natural beauty. So I do like this formula a whole lot. I love it. This has been pretty much my go-to since I got it. I've just only been wearing this and it's really pretty. Like I said, I have it in another shade. I do want to try other shades. 
that they have available because I kind of want to broaden my blush collection a little bit to more than two. So um, this, I think this would be really beautiful on a variety of skin tones, not just super fair, cool toned like me, but probably anyone could wear this. It's gorgeous. It is $29 and I can't wait to get the full size of this one as well because I feel like I'm probably going to hit pan a whole lot sooner than I think I am. So did you guys get to use up all of your Playbox products yet or get like a good use out of them? What were your thoughts? Did you kind of feel the same way I did? Are you planning on repurchasing the big sizes to uh, add to your collections? What do you wish they would put in a play box specifically? Leave me a comment down below, let me know. And um, like I said, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, I'd love to have you. Don't forget to like the video. Again, leave a comment and hit the bell for notifications of all of my uploads. And I hope you guys are having as much fun with your play box as I am. And uh, I will see you in the next one and can't wait for the next one to arrive in my house so I can open up that play box. See you later, guys.